So today I'm going to tell you some things we can learn from King David as ministers of God in his church. So stay tuned and don't go anywhere. More grace to your help. Service. Serve in your local church, Charlie. I know it's good to be aiming for big platform and things, but don't feel too big to be part of your local church or the choir in your local church. Serve in your church. Because you know what? David, who eventually came to rule the whole world, who became one of the biggest kings ever in the history of the Bible, started serving in his father's house. He started serving by taking care of his father's sheep and sons. You, I mean, you can make some rounds by aiming for big platforms, make, uh, seizing some movements and taking some opportunities. But it, it all starts from serving in your local church. Ser At the point, David even served his father. My his father even was not seeing him as a son again. Cry. He was even seeing him as a staff because he was always serving. So please, the first thing we can learn from King David as minister of God is to serve and serve. And the serve will start from your local church. Develop your skill, Charlie. You see, when you read the, the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 17, it got to a point that Saul was being tormented by a particular spirit and he demanded that they bring David to him. And when you read the verse, he was saying that, bring me David because he knows how to play. The reason why Saul called him for David is because he knew David knew how to play. So as a minister of God, take time, make time to develop your skill. Don't say that, oh, the anointing is there, my voice is there, so God can use me at any time. I mean, David, who was taking care of his father's flock, six to six, let me say six to eight, was even getting time to practice, even when he was taking care of his father's flock. So who are you as a student, a worker, who, I don't know I don't know where you find yourself. Create time. One thing you can do, or one thing we can learn from King David is to what? Get time and learn. A man who had a day job of tending sheep became the most skilled musician in Israel. So we have no reason to complain. He was looking after sheep, so but he got time to what? To practice. So another thing we are learning from King David is to develop our skill, is to create time and practice and make sure we are skillful. Follow the necessary stages, Charlie. When you take David's when, when we take David's life as an example, David killed the Bible says that David killed a lion before coming to kill Goliath, before he becoming a king. So follow the necessary stages and don't jump, don't try to jump to the top immediately. Trust God that He's in control of your career. Trust God that He's in control of your gifts. Trust God that He can, if He has brought you this far, He'll be able to send you to the top. And don't try and create opportunities for yourself and taking up opportunities that are not for you. Conquer the present stage. What is the present stage? Your local church, your local church, the evening service, Sunday service, Friday service. Conquer those stages. And God, God is merciful. God is why He now knows when. And that particular time to move you to a bigger stage so please don't jump don't try and jump to the top immediately because well when you trust that god is in charge of your career you're not rational oh, you relax your body cry and put your trust in god amen be spiritual in the book of first Samuel chapter 16 verse 23 the bible says that when king saul was troubled and he called for david when david came to play he did not only refresh king, uh, king saul he casted out the demons that was, that was tormenting king Saul. so i'm here to tell you that your music will not be should, shouldn't be all, only about art about the art of music it should be spiritual it should be backed by the spirit of god and the only time when you can get the spirit of god to back your songs or back your ministration is when you spent more time with god when you spent more time studying god's way when you spent more time praying when you spent more time in the presence of god that is the only secret that david had he was spending more time with God. He was spending more time in the presence of God. So when he was with God to come and play for King Saul, he didn't really force it. Just God just took control over his administration and the demon just couldn't stay in Saul's body. So one last thing we are learning from King David is that be spiritual, spend more time with God and then music, your music or your ministry should not be just about acts. It should be filled and backed by the faith of God.